Traveler. On tonight's Metal Mascots, it's everyone's favorite sexy giant demon, Murray. I mean, check this dude out. Mysterious and shredded. When Ronnie James Dio left Black Sabbath in 1982 to do his own thing, there was little doubt that whatever he did would rock. Murray, the giant mythical beast that would accompany his new journey, would haunt the minds of parents and perk the interests of bloodthirsty metalheads across the land. The true history of Dio's new mascot, however, wouldn't be fully realized for years to come. With the legendary debut release, Holy Diver, Murray wasn't messing around. This is exactly the kind of imagery that congressmen and churches would decree as satanic and dangerous on national television in the 1980s. All oh, while their kids played D&D in the basement and cranked that shit to 11. Despite the outwardly evil appearance, which fit the dark imagery of the 80s like a glove, Ronnie was quick to play devil's advocate at the time. Maybe the priest was drowning the monster. Later in life, he would take it further, stating that with all the problems within the Catholic Church, in hindsight, they probably put the right person in the water. Dio would follow that record up with another classic in the last in line. And front and center once again was Murray, towering over a dark landscape. The cover further convinced non-believers of his evil intent. Ronnie continued to uphold Murray's innocence, however, and pointed out that not everything in our world can be taken at face value a sentiment shared by the headbanging youth. Evil can appear beautiful and innocent on the surface, and so too can the opposite be true. With the release of the third Dio record, Sacred Heart, Murray was nowhere to be found. Instead, a dragon by the name of Dean took center stage. The dragon's name got changed to Denzel somewhere along the line, but regardless, could it be that the hands holding the crystal ball on the cover belonged to Murray? Surely Ronnie wouldn't outright abandon his muse so soon. The Sacred Heart Tour would feature the nightly spectacle of Dio slaying a giant Denzel on stage, much to the delight of fans and definitely Dio himself. Behold, a man living his best life. Dio's next release, Dream Evil, would see the glorious return of Murray and eventually give us his full origin story. Silhouetted by the full moon, framed in a window, Murray stands over a sleeping child, blissfully unaware of the monsters lurking below, or the creepy flute-wielding goblin at the foot of her bed, the fuck? Again, critics assumed the worst, and Dio came to Murray's defense. Could Murray be watching over her, perhaps? Having arrived just in time to protect her from evil? Either way, the cover is perfectly connected with the lyrics and themes of the record and is really cool. It was the Dream Evil Tour where things got really interesting in the history of Murray. Clever fans who bought the Dream Evil World Tour book were pleasantly surprised to find a detailed origin story for the entity commonly known as Murray, whose real name turned out to be Merle C. I'll put a link to the full story in the description, but here's the nuts and bolts of the tale. The story traced the roots of Merlsey back to the ancient origins of Earth. After learning of his own father's plot to kill him, Merlsey, destined to become the leader of his tribe, took refuge in a cave at the behest of his mother and consumed a potion that would cause him to sleep for a trillion years. Merlsey awoke in a new era. Transmutated and with blood-red eyes, he would venture from his cave and legends were born of a giant monster roaming the wilds, terrifying those who crossed his path. Eventually, he befriended Ronnie James Dio, the only human not to run in terror from the creature. Having misheard his name, Ronnie mistakenly called his new pal Murray, who didn't seem to mind. Dio would return to the cave often to hear stories of the olden days. These tales of ancient times served as source material for many Dio songs. As a thank you, Dio asked Murray if he could put him on the covers of his solo records. Murray was naturally flattered and agreed. Dream Evil was the last time Murray would grace the cover of a Dio album, but he would remain a staple of Dio's art, music videos, and design, appearing on the covers of most of his compilations and live recordings. Murray, like so many of us, is simply a misunderstood creature whose physical form appears monstrous at first glance. There are many metaphors that could be drawn, a childhood taken, a lonely existence at the hands of rejection and fear. Murray is a mascot whose face value obviously meant so much more to its creator, Ronnie James Dio. There is no question that Dio was a godlike master of metal. His contribution and outpouring of music remains as unforgettable as his mascot, 
the giant vision of his dreams, Murray. Ronnie may have left this realm to slay dragons and beasts in another, but the music he left behind will live on forever, and Murray will be there to welcome new fans into his world. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and checking out some of these other awesome videos.